Welcome to the public hearing for the State Road 5 US 1 roundabout at Old Dixie Highway in Flagler County. This hearing is being held to give all interested persons the right to understand the project and comment on their concerns to the department. Public participation is encouraged and solicited without regard to race, color, religion, sex, age, national origin, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting either the Florida Department of Transportation, District 5 Office, or the Tallahassee Office. This contact information is also provided on a sign displayed near the sign-in table. This project is being conducted by FDOT District 5 in compliance with all applicable federal environmental laws and pursuant to 23 U.S. Code number 327 and the implementation of the Memorandum of Understanding between FDOT and the Federal Highway Administration signed on December 14, 2016 with the FDOT Office of Environmental Management in Tallahassee as the approving authority. In November 2010, Florida Senate Bill 1842 was enacted, which requires the department to hold a public hearing whenever modifications to property access are proposed along a state highway. Hearings must be held 180 days prior to finalization of the design of the project. This public hearing is being held relative to state project number 441210-1-52-01. The proposed improvements involve a roundabout, which will provide operational and safety enhancements at the intersection to improve the traffic flow. This public hearing was advertised consistent with the federal and state requirements shown on this slide. The purpose of this public hearing is to share information about the proposed roundabout at the intersection of State Road 5 US 1 and Old Dixie Highway in Flagler County. This public hearing also serves as an official forum to give you the opportunity to express your opinions and concerns about this project. The project limits are along US 1 from south of Old Dixie Highway to north of Old Dixie Highway for a distance of less than one half mile. The roundabout design will include four approaches, a south approach on US 1, north approaches on US 1 and County Road 325, and an east approach on Old Dixie Highway. Safety concerns have been raised by the community due to recent fatal crashes at this intersection. Flagler County officials and a significant number of residents have asked the Florida Department of Transportation to make safety improvements at this intersection. A roundabout is being designed at the intersection to improve safety while maintaining traffic flow on US-1. Previous engineering assessments showed the roundabout option would provide better operation and safety performance over the existing caution light configuration for current conditions and future traffic volumes. A modern roundabout is a circular intersection where drivers travel counterclockwise around a center island. There are no traffic signals or stop signs in a roundabout. Drivers yield at entry to traffic in the roundabout, then enter the intersection and exit at their desired street. Modern roundabouts are designed to accommodate vehicles of all sizes, including emergency vehicles, buses, and truck and trailer combinations. Drivers enter the intersection by navigating a gentle curve. 
A main feature of the roundabout is a raised central island. The circular shape is designed to control the direction of traffic and reduce speeds to 20 to 25 miles per hour. It also reduces the likelihood of T-bone or head-on collisions. The following video illustrates how the roundabout would function, factoring in peak traffic volumes as far out as the year 2040. This project includes operational and safety enhancements that will improve the flow of traffic. Roundabouts have fewer conflict points, reducing the chances of collisions. Motorists wait an average of 30 seconds more at a signalized intersection than at a roundabout. Thereby, roundabouts significantly reduce wait times compared to other types of intersections. A roundabout is cost efficient and no additional right-of-way will be required. Roundabouts reduce the number of serious crashes by 78 to 82 percent when compared to conventional stop-controlled and signalized intersections, per the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials, or AASHTO, Highway Safety Manual. By reducing the number and severity of conflict points, and because of the lower speeds of vehicles moving through the intersection, roundabouts are a significantly safer type of intersection. This diagram illustrates the difference in conflict points between a conventional four-legged intersection and an equivalent single-lane roundabout. There are 32 conflict points associated with a conventional intersection, eight merging or joining, eight diverging or separating, and 16 crossing. In contrast, there are only eight conflict points at an equivalent roundabout, four merging and four diverging. Not only are conflict points lessened with the roundabout, the type of conflicts that remain are the same direction variety, which result in substantially less severity and, as a result, less likelihood of injury. The reduction of both the total number of conflict points and their severity is also true for pedestrians. Bicyclists are encouraged to share the travelway with vehicles in a roundabout. When bicyclists continue with traffic, the same laws apply to the bicyclists that apply to motor vehicles, yielding to currently circulating traffic. You can find more information on the Florida Department of Transportation website at www.fdot.gov forward slash agency resources forward slash roundabouts. The southbound left turn lane will remain at the median opening located 600 feet south of the central island. The northbound right turn lane at Old Dixie Highway will be removed. To the north of the roundabout, northbound US-1 will be shifted slightly to the east to accommodate construction of a splitter island, and the northbound auxiliary lane will be removed. The full median opening at Trojan Road will be closed, 
and the southbound left turn lane at Old Dixie Highway will be removed. A northbound left turn lane will be added to the median opening 1,000 feet north of Old Dixie Highway to accommodate U-turns from Trojan Road and the White Eagle Lounge. The location of median openings and the type of opening are based on roadway classifications and minimum separation or spacing standards. The standards used by the Florida Department of Transportation provide the optimal balance between access and mobility. Conflict points are locations along a roadway where the paths of two vehicles can legally cross. Each conflict point is a location that has the potential for a crash. The full median openings serving Old Dixie Highway, County Road 325, and Trojan Road will be closed. This will restrict vehicles from turning across the lanes of traffic at these locations, which will eliminate conflict points, increasing safety along the roadway and reducing traffic delays. The existing full opening farther north will be used to allow for U-turns. U-turns are often much safer than direct left turns, especially on high volume, high speed, or congested roadways. They have also been shown to reduce the potential for accidents. Research on the safety of U-turns indicates that crashes causing injuries or fatalities are reduced by 27% and total crash rates are reduced by 18% through encouraging right turns followed by U-turns compared to direct left turns. The existing stormwater drainage system will be improved and the existing drainage patterns will be maintained. New inlets will be added to accommodate the additional pavement. All drainage improvements will comply with local jurisdictions and the St. Johns River Water Management District. Landscaping will provide a focal point, reduce headlight glare, improve safety, and enhance traffic calming. The landscape design will meet all FDOT roundabout guidelines for sight lines and clear zones. The plantings will include low maintenance design and seasonal interest for commuters. Irrigation will be done with water truck hookup points, providing a safe alternative for watering plant material throughout the establishment period. New LED lighting will be provided within the proposed roundabout. All roadway approaches, both ingress and egress, will have lighting for vehicular traffic. Approach distances are based on stopping site distance requirements. The FDOT will maintain all lighting within the county and FDOT right-of-way. There will be coordination with utility agency owners during construction to minimize construction impacts. The power company will be contacted for service connections and to ensure existing lighting to adjacent properties is maintained. This project is currently in the early design phase. Plans are anticipated to be completed by summer 2018. Construction is anticipated to begin on this project by October 2018. During construction, measures will be taken to ensure the safety of construction workers and the traveling public. To provide this measure of safety, lane closures will be necessary. Access to businesses and residences will be maintained during construction. This project is being coordinated with Flagler County, the City of Bunnell, the River to Sea Transportation Planning Organization, and Flagler County Public Schools Transportation to ensure bus services are not disrupted. No additional right-of-way will be required. For more information about this project, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website is the FDOT's living platform to keep you and the public informed of ongoing and future projects. You are encouraged to visit this website, 
which contains the links to easy access to online information and to stay current with the status of the project. Once you have accessed the project website, you will be able to view the current project schedule details, project contact information, and access project files such as this presentation. Type the project number 441210-1 in the search box at the top of the page. Then click on Go. When the new page opens, click on the project file name. We encourage you to share your comments with us. There are many different ways you can submit your comments. Provide your comments verbally during the public comment period following the presentation. Fill out a comment form and drop it in the comments box at the comments table. Take a comment form with you and mail it to the address shown on the form. Email your comments to Ms. Heidi Trivet, FDOT Project Manager at heidi.trivet at dot.state.fl.us. Make a comment to the court reporter. Use the Ask a Question button on the CFL Roads website on the State Road 5 web page at the bottom right hand corner. All comments received by January 29, 2018 will become part of the official public hearing record. After this presentation, we will collect speaker request cards from anyone wishing to make a verbal statement. We ask that you speak into a microphone and limit your comments to two minutes. Your comments will become part of the official public record. And because it is very important for us to hear from you, we will not be responding to questions during the public comment time. But we will be listening to your comments very carefully during this formal setting. Once the official comment period is finished, Project staff will be available at the displays to answer any questions. You can fill out a comment form at the hearing and drop it in the comments box, or take a comment form with you and mail it to the address shown on the form. You may also make a formal statement to the court reporter before or after the public hearing presentation. Again, all comments received by January 29, 2018 will become part of the official public record for this hearing. If you have questions or would like more information, you may contact Ms. Heidi Trivet, FDOT Project Manager, or the Consultant Project Manager, Mr. Roman Blanco, by mail, telephone, or email. We appreciate you for taking time to attend this public hearing. Thank you for your interest and participation in this important project. This is the end of the recorded portion of the presentation.